The brand new set Paradox Rift is officially here, and today we're gonna be opening two of some of the best products for this new release. The two different versions of these ETBs are gonna be Roaring Moon and Iron Valiant, and inside of these boxes contains tons of exclusive products. I'm super excited to open these up, so without further ado, let's open the brand new set Paradox Rift. All right, I'm super excited because both of these ETBs have a completely different design, completely different stuff inside. It's going to be a ton of fun. We have Iron Valiant and Roaring Moon. I think we got to start with Iron Valiant. The promo card in here looks really, really cool, so I just want to start with that one. But honestly, both of these have really cool uh, promo cards. I just want to start with this one because I just like the, the look of it and everything like that. But uh, here we go. So probably one of the best products that you're going to find for Paradox Rift is going to be these ETBs. And uh, oh my god, wait. So we haven't even looked at this set list yet at all um uh, let, let's check it out with this uh player's guide all right let's check it out we got the pinks and greens on here the colors look really cool we got roaring moon as well so this is paradox rift uh, i'm gonna go through it and i'm basically oh yeah so there's future and ancient cards in here as well that look really cool you can see like the difference there i'm gonna kind of go straight through this thing get to like the actual set list so you guys can see all the cards that are in here and uh yeah it should start right here so you have your basic cards um, but you're also going to see like the EX cards kind of like sprinkled in here throughout the different types um, And that's oh, the Mewtwo that we actually pulled yesterday if you missed it, that card is so sick um, Lots of different EX's in Terraform as well. We got Iron Hands there um, With the future form. Let's keep going through these. It's a big set I think this is the biggest Scarlet and Violet set released so far and then we should yeah, okay Oh, man, so here's the illustration rares. There's so many that we haven't seen yet. It's like almost this whole page right here is all stuff we haven't seen. We did see the snow run already. Um, there's so many. So you might recognize some of these from uh, one of the Japanese sets, but there's two new Japanese sets that have not been released yet. and Or I'm sorry, they just released with, like right when this was released. So there's all, like, look at this Steelix, man. The more Peko. Cards look crazy good in here. Keep going through here. We got all these different full arts that start here. There's so many. It's kind of crazy. Still tons of full arts. Then we get into the illustration or the special illustration rares, which start right here with the uh, two gold stars. Go all the way through here. So many of them. Then we get to the gold cards, and that's going to end um, all the cards in here, not including some of these black star promos and stuff that we can find as well. All right, this is going to be a fun set to try to complete. We're going to slowly do it, or I might just go ahead and try to do a live stream of this thing. So I haven't decided yet, but we will see will we get inside of our ETB. And really quickly, I actually almost forgot, but I want to give one ETB away to one subscriber here on the channel, and you can choose whichever version you want. If you wanted to give away, all you have to do is number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, leave a comment down below in the comment section. All right, let's go. Um, so, all right, we start off, we get the standard stuff here, status counters, you get your dice, stuff like that. It looks pretty cool. I like the coloring on these. They always seem to be pretty unique just, uh, based off of the ETB. So you have a little bit of like uniqueness with the dice and stuff. Uh, but, oh my God. Okay, so this right here is probably one of the coolest things you could get in this ETB. I'm going to put it to the side for now. Uh, but we will get to it. At first, I want to see what else is in here just to kind of go over all the goodies you get. But obviously, you get a full thing of energies. And uh, I always have to do this on a new ETB that I haven't opened up before just in case they decided to throw in some cool hollows or something. All right. So first up, what I want to do is grab out the code card here. You can use this when the product is officially released. I believe it's November 2nd. But come back to the video. Try to grab that one. It's probably going to go quick either way. But... All right, we have our first uh, big item here. It's going to be the sleeves, the Iron Valiant sleeves here. So let's check these out up close, see how they look. Um, all right, so that's on the front there or the back, I guess if you want to call it or whatever. And then your card goes right in here. And uh, yeah, so you get all these sleeves. I like when they do two different versions of ETBs on a release. I don't know how or why they decide it, but um, for this set, they do have two different versions, which is cool. A lot of times it's just one version, but uh, so that means you just get more exclusive stuff. So we got our four dividers here. Nice quality. And then, all right, so we're going to get our packs here. So they added an extra pack on the Scarlet and Violet ETBs since they cost more. And you get promo cards in every single one now. We got one, two, three. These packed artworks are nice. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine should be, right? Yep. So we got nine packs. Let's get this out of the way. And now we're going to reveal the promo card that you get with this one. Now, I like both of them a lot. But I think I'm going to like this one the most out of the two, judging from the photos of it. But I got to see it in person to fully get my opinion on it. But here we go. Oh, my God, dude. This thing is nice. This is Iron Bundle. 
And uh, it's just so cool. You got this snow, you got the ice in the background. It's an illustration rare, but on top of that, it's the future type as well. So it just gives it a really cool style. And you get this in every single one of these ETBs. So super cool card to have here. Um, I don't know what set this is in for the Japanese version, but a lot of the cards do get cut and they put them in as Black Star promos and stuff like that. So this is one of them. All right, so we got that card. And now what we're going to do is open up our nine booster packs. Then we're going to move into the next ETB here for uh, the brand new set Paradox Rift. So let's go. I still got to get used to this, uh, these these pack tricks that we don't even really need to do anymore because it's just literally just one card. But let's see if we can get some big hits. We got Trubbish, Octillery. We got the Iron Moth Future card. Very cool. I said it earlier in the other video, opening the two booster boxes. If you missed that, check it out. I'll link it down below in the description. It was just yesterday's video, the first official opening of the set. This is the second one, but uh, I'm going in. We're going to be doing all different products all week, so make sure you guys are subscribed with notifications on so you don't miss when the videos are dropped if you want to be the first person to see these new sets and these new cards. Uh, we got Larry Reverse, Jirachi Reverse, the Ting Lu Hollow. All right, but yeah, we can also get Ancient Type as well. Very cool. Um, honestly, like a lot of people were not super excited about this set, but I think it's actually uh, surprisingly good. I think it is. I think it's really good. Some people try to compare it to like the early Sword and Shield, but I don't think you can compare it at all because we have illustration rares. We have special illustration rares. I, I don't think you can really compare it to the early Sword and Shield stuff. All right, in a good way. So I think this is better. Uh, the different types of cards and stuff in here. But yeah, there's a huge set uh, in comparison to the other sets that were released with Scarlet and Violet. So we got Mining. Exploud. Ooh, Iron Moth gonna be a reverse. Come on, let's see what we can do. Anything? We got something. The Gold Dango EX Full Art. All right. We got the big cheese stick. Let's go. And you know what? I haven't really checked out the quality of these cards, like the cut and everything. Center is really nice on this. Quality on the front looks pretty perfect. The back. Oh, yeah, this looks really good. Quality, so on this one at least, is really nice as I drop it. All right, let's keep going. Next pack up, and then we're going to see the next ETB soon. And remember, there's different promo cards, different sleeves, stuff like that. We got Trubbish. Come on, Snorlax doll. Let's see if we can get something else. Horsey Reverse Gen 1. Zashian Hollow. All right, not too bad. If you strike it on the packs, you at least get that promo card, so that helps. But uh, we got Plusel Dollar. Come on, Vanellux. Ready? Something? Groudon. I... All right, we need that card. So many cards that we have not pulled yet. This is uh, this is going to be the toughest set to complete for Scarlet and Violet so far. It's got to be. There's just way too many cards in this set. Crustal Onyx. We got... Okay. Oh, that's a big one. Let's go. I wanted to pull this thing. The more Peko illustration rare. Dude, the amount of uh, different candy in the background. This is wow. There's literally a star you cookie back there. Uh, what else can we see? Anything else? A lot of different candies. You got more Peko with the Pokeball Lollipop. You got some donuts down there. All right, all right. Anything behind it? Kingdra Hollow. I'm glad we got an illustration right out of that. Besides that Black Star promo. All right. Let's see what else we could do. Maybe we get a special illustration rare, a gold card. I don't know. Let's see. We got Durant and Cold Tank. Why? I feel like I always get the EX version and then the full art version of a lot of cards from these newer Scarlet Bot sets for some reason. I don't know if it's just a coincidence or what. So that just means we need the special illustration rare of Gold Dango in this last pack here. Let's see if we can do it. Overall, though, two, um, or sorry, one illustration rare, one full art, and one EX. And of course, you get that Black Star promo in here. So four pulls technically. Can we get one more? Steelix. All right. Next up. We have Roaring Moon, and the color scheme is completely different on this one. Got like a light blue and sort of like a yellowish tannish there. Um, contrasts nicely with a little bit of red. But yeah, let's crack this open. Let's see all the stuff we get in this one. Um, I don't know what the MSRP is on these. I can't remember, but they are more expensive now because they add another pack, and every pack has at least a hollow and a couple of reverses, and uh, what else? And you get a promo card in them, so they made it more expensive, but... Yeah, so this should be pretty much exactly the same on the player's guide, I would think. Um, yeah, I don't see why it would be any different besides the cover in the back there. But yeah, there we go. All right, let me know after you see this one open, which one's your favorite. Still think the Black Star promo on that first one's going to be my favorite, but this one looked pretty cool too. All right, so here we go. Same thing there. And then are the dice and stuff different? Um... I think this one's red instead, right? All right, what else we got in here? So let's grab, there's our promo card. All right, all right, we're the same thing. We're gonna hang on to that for a second. First, let's see here. Well, energy, whatever. Um, but we've got a code card in here as well. That's for the Scarlet Violet Paradox Rift Elite Trainer Box Roaring Moon. 
two different versions of those code cards going out. And then we got our dividers back and front look different. That's sick. Okay. And then what do we got here? Some sleeves. All right, let's check these out. Nice. This one has more of like a red sort of coloring around the border there. Roaring Moon. I'm just excited to see this promo card now. Okay, so that and then we should have again another nine packs if I can get these out. There we go. Let's just double check. I have had some where they didn't have the right amount of packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, we're good. All right, so there's everything in that. Except for right here, our Black Star promo. So these cards are usually cut from Japanese sets and then put in as different promo cards with different products, stuff like that. This one, the back is off center quite a bit. But let's check out this artwork on this one. It's an illustration, right? So it's automatically going to be a winner. Boom. But we got Screamtail. There we go. All right. Let's check out that. That's actually pretty. That's actually a pretty good card, honestly. That's actually a real. Like, the closer you look at that thing, the more detail you can see. Oh, yeah, that's like kind of in a cave a little bit there or something. It's got some really cool, like, art style to it. And it's actually really cool. I don't know. Which one do you guys like more? Both are, are really nice, though. I honestly could go either way on those two Black Star promos. Seeing that one up close, that's why I always have to look at them in person before I make a decision on which one, you know, what I like and stuff. But that one in person actually looks definitely cooler than just the photo that we saw. Magby, and we got a Frostless Terraform EX Full Art. Okay. This is definitely from um, the Japanese set that we've opened up already. But there we go. All right. Let's keep going here and see all the stuff that we get from these booster packs. Come on. Got Miltank, Wimpod, Plusle, Masquerade. Ferris Seed, come on. It's an ancient card right there. Pretty cool. So you can see like the effect of it kind of fades out a little bit to the side. All right, regular hollow. It's going to be an interesting one for people to, to complete. I'll tell you that. It's really going to be an interesting set for people to complete. Blip Bug Foy Coco. We got... Ooh, that happened again. All right, here we go. So we got what? Six more packs remaining. So far, just the Frostless. Spinda. Dude, I need this card, though. Special illustration. Come on. Come on. Zatu. All right, all right, We still have plenty of packs left to uh, get something good out of here. But again, guys, all week, for the most part, going to be opening up this set. With, there's still plenty more products for you guys to see. We have Slitherwing, Ancient Form, Lip Bug, Regular Hollow. And then besides this new set, there's, uh, there's still a lot of cool stuff to open up. Uh, a lot of new exclusive products for the end of the year, like always. We got those new Japanese sets. We got a shiny Japanese set coming up. Slitherwing. Oh, there we go. New artwork. Yo, that's actually pretty cool. Gives it like an ancient look. Kind of looks like it's like prehistoric times. Um, dude, that's actually crazy. Slitherwing. I like that artwork a lot. Latios. I mentioned the other video, but these are some of my favorite hollows so far from a Scarlet and Violet set. A lot of them look really good. Zubat. Gimme Ghoul. Masquerade. Gliger. Ooh. Okay. Iron Valiant EX Future. We had this one as a gold card last stream. Or stream last video that actually looks pretty cool as a regular floor though got that purple in the background and stuff well this etb caught up pretty quickly now and actually it's we're getting a lot of really good pulls we got the same amount of pulls as the first one we got some higher rarities though let's see what else we can get we got two more packs trubbish come on oh let's go man reverse of status vitality that's going to be the illustration rare, dude. This ETB destroyed the other one. And then a Thievel right behind it. Yo, that's a great box. With the smile of them on the side there. Oh, that's sick. All right, we're getting some big pulls today. But we got one more pack. And it's going to be Iron Valiant. Okay. Let's see if we can end it with something crazy. Even though we already did, technically. We got more pulls in that second ETB. All right, here we go. Final pack. Remember, come back tomorrow for even more Paradox Rift openings. We got more new products. More new cards are going to be seen. So much more stuff in this set that we still got to pull. So hopefully you guys are there to check it all out. But the final pack. Simis Sage. Oh, dude, another? Another Gold Dango? And another hit. Dude, ended it with like six pulls on that one. That was ridiculous. All right, guys, but that is going to do it. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to smash the like button on your way out. If you want some more content, click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you on the next one.